Hi there, this is Mark Edelman, speech language pathologist, and welcome to the teaching of talking. Well, good morning. Uh, this is a uh, rather lonely road in Benson, Arizona, and uh, I've been out for my morning walk and walk down by the trains, which I love to do, and look at those monstrous, monstrous uh, engines and cars and things like that. But, uh, you know, so I've been walking down this very lonely road and there's nobody here. There's nobody on this road. All it is is desert. It's a uh, dirt road that goes from the railroad tracks up to the major highway. And so you might wonder, oh, what am I talking about a, a lonely road for? Well, uh, I'm talking about a lonely road because that's what it's like for people with apraxia. They're going down the lonely road like I'm going down the lonely road. And especially those of you who are no longer receiving uh, speech and language help, uh, it's extra lonely. Um, but the thing you got to do is, is something very, very simple. The thing you got to do is just to realize uh, where you want to go. So I left my house early this morning and and I decided I wanted to walk down by the railroad tracks and then I want to walk around and look at the desert and then go home. Okay, so even though you may be on a lonely road, you've got to decide where you're going. Just like when you're out for a walk or just like when you're doing anything else, you have to decide where you're going and what you want, okay? So many people have given up on speaking because there's been a lonely road. They may have had speech therapy for a while uh, and they may have progressed or whatever, but there was a time when the therapy stopped and then that's when you got on the lonely road. And when you're on a lonely road and you don't know where you're going, man, that's really difficult to take. But I'm here to show you that if you have apraxia or if you have aphasia, you don't have to be on a lonely road, okay? Because <laughs> the teaching of talking is here. And uh, if you have apraxia, we have a teaching of talking book and we'll soon be launching the teaching of talking uh, video course for those with apraxia. But don't forget that these courses are for caregivers because it's very, very difficult for anybody with apraxia to uh, improve their speech by themselves. They've got to have a speech model. So this is Mark Edelman, speech language pathologist. Down below this video is a link to our free chapter of the teaching of talking book for apraxia and it's something that will help you get off the lonely road it'll help you get off the lonely road and get on the road to speech recovery yes it will and why do i say that well i say that because i wrote the book and i've been doing this stuff for almost 47 years and have figure out, figured out what to do with most people who are stimulable. That means most people who are open to speaking, open to getting off the lonely road and onto the road of speech recovery. So this is Mark Edelman. If you like this video or this little short thing, give us a thumbs up. Down below are a bunch of links. So if you want the book or you want the free chapter or you want personal mentoring or whatever you want, we're here. We're here just like you are. We're stuck inside, so we're making the best of it, and we hope you do too. So just have a great day, and we'll see you. Don't forget the thumbs up, and go below, get the free chapter of the book, and or anything else, because we address apraxia with one book, and we address aphasia with a different book. The aphasia book was the first one we published. That's the one with the red cover. 
and the cup with the pencils in it. This is for apraxia for those who have difficulty making speech sounds or making their speech clear. So we hope to see you soon. This is Mark Edelman, speech language pathologist, wishing you a great day. Bye-bye now.